Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. We've got a great one for you today. We've got a full screen slider with a YouTube video background. Really easy to do. Great little feature to have on your site. As you can see, that's really effective looking. Gonna get people's attention pretty quickly if that sort of thing is going on. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual build. And let's roll down and we'll delete this section to start from scratch. Okay, we'll go to wherever it is you want to put yours. Now it's really tempting to put it on the top of the page, but anytime you're using video, if you can put it below the fold, which is below where you see the page load initially, It'll help your page load time. If it's at the top, it's really going to slow it down. But that's it up to you. We've got quicker and quicker web speeds now, so it's not quite such an issue. But I'm going to put mine about halfway down my page or third way down my page here. So I'm going to add a new section, little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section. Inside that section, I'm going to use a single column for my row. And inside that row, I'm going to put a code module and this is what we're going to use for the actual video background for the YouTube video. So let's go over to YouTube and grab a video. I've got YouTube open here. When you get to your video, hit the little share button down below. We'll hit the embed. I'm going to have mine start from maybe the 20 second mark here. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to put 20. Yes, in fact, let's make it 30. It's quite a long video. I'm going to copy this. Just hit the copy button or select and copy however you wish. And we can go back here, paste it into our code module. So there it is right there. But of course, we want it to autoplay. Also want it to be muted. And when it gets to the end, I want it to loop around again. So if we look here, here's the actual URL of the video itself, and there's the start time of 30. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the zero of the 30, and I say ampersand, or the and sign, I'm going to say autoplay equals one. Then I'm going to put another ampersand, I'm going to say mute equals one. And then finally, one more ampersand, I'll put this bit of code down below. I want it to loop, loop equals one. As you can see, that video is now playing on autoplay with no sound. And when it gets to the end, it's going to mute. Great. What we need to do is make this the size that we want it now. So I'm going to go into my row, the green tab. I'm going to make it full width by going to design, sizing, width. I'm going to slide the slider up to 100%. I'm going to copy that. Control C. I'm going to paste it in the max width below also. As you can see, it's made that video max width now. Don't want any gap at the top, and I'm going to copy this column in a minute. I don't want a gap at the bottom. So I'm going to use a custom gutter width. I'm going to switch that to on. I'm going to take the gutter width down to zero, which means there'll be no gap between the rows but I've still got a gap up here. So let's see what we've got. Still in design, I'm gonna close up sizing, go into spacing, make sure there's no padding on this row. I'm gonna put a zero at the top. There, that took away a bit. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom also. I know you can't see the bottom at the moment, but it's down there. Still got a little gap there, and that's gonna be in the section itself. So while I'm still in the row, I wanna make this row 100% of whatever screen size that they're looking at it on. To do that, I'm going to go back up to sizing above. I'm going to roll down and I'm going to give it a height of 100 VH, 100 viewable height. It's now 100% of the height of any screen we view it on. But to make sure nothing spills out over, I want to make sure the overflow is hidden so anything Deeper than 100% will not be shown. To do that, we're still in the row. 
Do they go to advanced? Can go down to visibility. I'm going to switch both of these from default to hidden, vertical and horizontal. That way there will be no overflow down at the bottom here. Fantastic. So we'll save our changes here. Let's take that gap away in our section, the blue tab for the section. We go into the section itself. Over the design, we'll do the same thing down to spacing. Make sure there's no padding on the top. Put a zero in and do the same for the bottom. Put a zero in there. Then we're nicely buffered up against the top and bottom sections there. Okay, well now we want to put a slider over the top of this thing. I mean, it's great, it's doing what we want it to do. But we want to have a slider revolving around on the top with some different text, perhaps. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually clone this row because we've already given it a fixed height of 100VH. So I'm going to use it for what we're going to put on top and we'll scoot it on top of this one. So I'm going to hit the clone button. Two little squares there. And then we'll roll down. Here's our new one here. I'm going to get rid of that video module. Trash it. So I'm left with a row now, which is 100 VH high, but it's empty. So in this row, this is where I'm going to put my slider. So I'm going to hit the little dark button, add a new module. Funnily enough, I'm going to go down and add a slider. There it is right there. And by default, it puts in two slides for us here. I want to take away any backgrounds there because we're going to scoot this on top of that and I really don't want to see any background on top of it. So I'm going to go into each of these slides. I'm going to take the background away by hovering over the field and hitting the little trash can. Fantastic. Save that and back to the main slider settings here. We'll do the same for the second slide. Go in there, down the background, hit the little trash can. Great. Well, let's just change these up a little bit. We'll save this, go back to the main slider settings. I'm just going to change the words on this second one. So you can see the difference. Yeah, let's see, learn more. Save that back to the main slider settings. I'm going to clone that one. Now let's see more information or something else. Now we'll say contact us for the button. Great, so we've got three different slides there. I want them to animate. I want them to ro revolve round and round. So let's save this. Make sure you go back to your main slider settings or else you're not going to find the automation. This comes up every time I do a slider. Once in the main slider settings, go down to animation. Just below animation style, we've got automatic animation. I'm going to switch that from off to on. By default, it's going to roll every seven seconds. I'm going to make mine four seconds, 4,000 milliseconds. And I'm going to leave the continue automatic slider on hover to off. That means when they hover over, it'll stop. They can read the writing and click on the button if they need to. Great. Now, the question I always get is people say, I can't find the automatic animation, it's not in my slider. Chances are, if we go back to our content here, chances are you're in one of your slides. If you're in your slider and you go over to design, don't find automatic down there, chances are you're in one of your slides. So just make sure you say when you're in the main slider settings. I'm sorry, I have to go over this every time because I get questions on it. And you'll find animation down the bottom. So there we are, that's, that's that problem solved. Okay, so we've got our slider and we've got our video rolling here. Now, how do we get this on top of that? Well, we know they've got exactly the same height, whatever device they're being viewed on. So what I can do is go into this row down below here, go over to design, down to spacing, margin at the top. I'm going to hit the little arrow. I'm going to go down to minus one. I'm going to make minus 100 VH. Well, that's now jumped on top of our video right there. Which is absolutely fantastic. Just exactly what we wanted. So let's save our changes here. 
save draft or publish if you're ready. If you've got a lighter video, you can actually put a little shade button in here by putting a background in here by going back into our module. Right at the beginning, you go to background. You put a black in, it's going to black everything right out of there. But what we can do, if your writing's not showing up correctly, go in there, pull the opacity slider all the way down till it just darkens out your background video a little bit and you can read your writing nicely. I'll leave that just like that. One other thing I've noticed, now we put that shadow in there, we've got a bit of a gap at the bottom here. So I want to make sure that my video is the same height as my row. To do that, back into design, sizing, or I should say this is my slider, not the video. I'm going to go down to height, give it exactly the same height as everything else, 100 pH. And there we have it, it's right in the middle of our view there. Just exactly what we want. So let's continue now, we'll save our changes again. Or we'll publish if you're ready. We can exit the visual builder. Roll on down. There it is, there's our little video. With the slider at the top. If I take my mouse off, it's going to roll around every four seconds. And another four seconds, it's going to roll around again. And as you can see, that video is muted, or as you can hear or not hear, that video is muted. And when it gets to the end, it's going to roll around again. And that's a great little feature to have on your website. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a full width slider or full width full screen slider with a YouTube video background. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a little demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.